Hi everyone, I'm Joanne with Newegg TV and I'm here to unbox this Jashik Onlap Portable Monitor Model 2501B. Here is everything that comes in the box. We'll start off with the documentation first. This is a very handy manual that you will want to look through. So you'll know what the various ports are, the functions, how to use everything, how to put the cover on, but I will show you in just a moment, as well as how to split screen if you are plugging this into a laptop and how to use the menu settings on here, the touch menu. Moving right along, this is the power adapter and the plug. So you just match up the um, pattern and then boom. And then you would plug in this USB cord. You get close to four feet of cord with this and then you plug the other end into the monitor. And there is actually an additional one here because let's say you're plugging the monitor into a laptop, it might need a little more power, so there you have it. And here is the included HDMI cable, micro HDMI to HDMI. You get about four feet like as well. And what you do is you can plug in a camera, view the photos on the monitor, or plug in your smartphone, do some e-reading, web browsing, plug in your PS3, Xbox 360 to watch videos or play games. And I will plug in a PS3 for you in a moment to show you that how it works and it works just fine. It's super duper cool. You'll notice on this side of the monitor, there is a port for a hook. There is one on the other side as well. And that is to attach this plastic cover that comes with this. So when you take it on the go, like in your luggage or in your bag, it won't get scuffed up, which is great. Awesome thinking on your part. And it closes just like this. And what's great about this is, oh, I'm sorry, it snaps closed, but uh, it doubles as a stand. So you don't have to buy a separate stand for this monitor, see? So here's a side view of it. First of all, let's go over some of the ports. So over here, there is a switch, power switch, between DC mode, which is powered by the cord, and battery mode. So this makes this completely portable. Now, next to that, this is the DC port for plugging in the USB cable. And here is the VGA port, as, but VGA's cable is not included, so you will have to purchase one yourself if you are going to make use of this for whatever compatible device that you are using. And above that is the micro HDMI port for plugging in, as I mentioned earlier, digital cameras, gaming systems, smartphones, the like, good stuff. And above that is the audio jack. So these touch buttons on the side, I will go over once we turn this unit on, but first, some monitor display specs. You get a 15.6 inch TFT LCD LED backlit display at 1366 by 768 resolution, 16-9 aspect ratio, 400 to 1 contrast ratio, 8 millisecond response time to 16 millisecond max. And you get view angles up 20 degrees, down 45 degrees, left and right both 45 degrees. And this also comes with a lithium polymer battery, 9300 milliamp hours. You should definitely charge this unit seven hours before the first use. Now I just want to go back here and show you this brushed finished. It's a very nice elegant touch and you also have these two one watt speakers here and the impedance is 8 ohms at 2000 hertz. Let me move this back around. And I believe this one, I saw a video of, a, of the 2501M. This is the B. And this seems to be an area to mount a clip for a smartphone holder. Before I go over the PS3 setup, I want to go over the dimensions of this monitor. So it measures 15.6 inches along this edge, 10.2 inches along this edge, and it is 0.64 inches thick with the cover. And as for weight, it weighs, it doesn't weigh too much, 2.9 pounds with the cover and 2.3 pounds without the cover. And right now I have the power cable plugged into an outlet and I have the PS3 
hooked up using the HDMI cable that they have provided. Now I'm going to turn on this monitor. Power button is right here, on off button. And up here is the battery indicator. So if it is red, then it needs, it is charging or it needs charging. And if it's off, then it is completely charged. Well, this is when the power cable is attached to the monitor and plugged in. And below that is the keys lock button. So you can lock all of these touch buttons. If you are holding it, if you're sitting somewhere on a plane or somewhere and you don't want to accidentally brush against these buttons, that's the way to go. Below that is the exit button. And these two are the volume buttons, but they're also navigational buttons if you press the menu key, which is that one right there. And below that is mute. So let's go ahead and go to menu, uh, go to HDMI, and it should find the PS3. Maybe I had to turn it on, but it should work. Just give it a moment. Aha! And there it is, the PS3 screen. Oh, that looks so very familiar. Um, and basically just use your remote to play games, go through music or whatever you have on there, go to the PlayStation Store, and let's just go into the menu again. And you can adjust the contrast, brightness, color, as well as language, and of course, whatever input that you are using. And let's go back out of there and with exit. And this is the volume, like I mentioned earlier. You can adjust that. And you can also mute the volume. That wraps it up for this unboxing on this Jashik OnLap portable monitor, model 2501B. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel as well as our other YouTube channels. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.